Tony D and Little Joan with a screenwriter's rant on Detective Knight Rogue, the first of a trilogy starring Bruce Willis, who's supposed to be retired. Smash like and subscribe. Thank you for smash liking and subscribing. Check out my books. The links are in the description. Comedy Horror in South Jersey. It's what? It's the Pineys, books 1 through 10, available at Amazon.com. Don't forget, Kindle Unlimited is free. I will be at Classic Books, Classic Books and Gifts in Trenton, New Jersey, the capital of our state, tomorrow. Well, you're seeing this the day of. So Saturday, 11 a.m. till probably about 2-ish, depending. So if you're in the Trenton area, stop on by. Hope to see you there. And uh, Sunday, I'll be at the Harvest Fest in Point Pleasant. Now, Bruce Willis, he, he's, he's doing, and don't take this the wrong way, he's doing movies like Tupac's doing albums. Um, you know, sadly, Bruce is kind of done because of his medical condition. Is, are they going to put the AI Bruce Willis in these movies next? Maybe. I don't know. Um, director is Edward Drake, who wrote all three movies. The synopsis is not great. Detective James Knight is dedicated to navigating the demanded, demanding streets of L.A., Los Angeles. It's a little generic. I, I would have gone with something a little more pointed, because it's kind of a cool premise. The premise is there are bank robbers... And uh, they come to L.A. to rob the banks, and then they leave, and they have to go after them in other states. They go to New York. I'm not sure why New York. That that seems like the wrong place for the bank robbers to hide, but whatever. Um, so it's it it feels like kind of like a Die Hardy type movie, where Bruce Willis is just sick of the. It, it, although instead of being attacked. He's sick of the criminals having a one-up him, so he goes on the offensive in other states, which I assume he shouldn't do. But this guy apparently is the organizer of the bank robbers, and uh, there's other people involved, and it, it gets very dicey, and uh, there's lots of shootouts. And I, I think he just goes after the bank robbers and murders them. <laughs> I'm not sure. I, I think he may just kill the bank robbers. Um, and eventually the last guy. But, I mean, his partner definitely goes down during a shootout. But his name's Detective Knight. I guess this is one of the bank robbers who shows up. Uh, in select theaters and on demand, October 21st. I don't think this is really going to be in too many theaters. Although, quite frankly... It probably would be decent in a theater because it does seem to have a lot of stunts. I, I don't think it's got a huge budget, but a big enough budget. I mean, this is basically a Bruce Willis type movie. It's a movie they cast Bruce Willis in because he, I mean, he's kind of typecast in this, right? Because of the Die Hard movies. Um and it's like, the question is, can he still pull this off at his age? And in his condition, which he was obviously in late in the game. I gotta say, the trailer looks decent. The trailer, I mean, it looks like a Bruce Willis movie. Definitely. And that's his partner, the other bald guy. So you got two baldies going at it. Um, there seem, the action seems fine in the trailer. Um, you know, if you, you, this can be done. I mean, the thing is, you just have to say, well, we can't, we can't, uh, have Bruce Willis do all these crazy stunts he used to do when he was a young man. We have to make him do, uh, clever things where he like tricks the criminal down a dark alley and then kills him or tricks him at, tricks a piano falling on his head, killing him that way. Um, the one thing I'll say, though, Bruce does look, he is starting to show his age in these last few movies. You can tell by the way he, you can tell by the way he used to walk. Um, you can tell by the way he carries himself. He's a little stiff. 
He's not a lot stiff, but it's just a little. It, it's just a telltale sign that he doesn't have that sort of loosey-goosey uh, uh, movements that he did back in the day when he shot the original Die Hard. Um, his energy's just, it's there, but it's not really, it's, it's okay. It's like just there. Like he can pull out a gun and fire. Like he's good at that. He looks good doing that. Um, but they don't have him running. Not really. So, um, you know, it, they have scenes like this where he's like, oh, what's, what's the thing here? And, uh, uh, where's the body? Like that kind of stuff. Um, so this trilogy feels like they're trying to do like a, a, a lower budget die hard and they're filling it up with things like, uh, exposition about the characters throwing around like the CIA and drug runners. Like there's all this corruption, which you're not going to see. It's going to be all off camera, but he's going to. It's going to hopefully make the movie sound more important. Um, and then, you know, th they'll have the stunts done by his younger sidekick. The physical stunts while Bruce is like, he'll shoot guys. He has to shoot guys. He's Bruce Willis. He's going to shoot guys in a movie. Um, so, I mean, it looks okay, I guess, from this. I'm a little suspicious because... You know, Bruce was sort of fading towards the end, and this is late in the game for him. And I don't know how they're going to... Did they already shoot the other two movies? The other two movies are on the IMDb, IMDb. The second movie slated for release this year. This is this is coming out in October. i got to assume the next one comes out... November? Or December at the latest? If they're going to get it out by 2022... And then the third one comes out next year. Now, the third one, I would definitely release that in a January, February thing. One of these movies should come out then. Probably the first movie should have. Because that's where you dump movies that, you know, you're, you're unsure of. Now, will people go see a Bruce Willis movie? Yeah. But if you want to get a sleeper hit for a movie that probably doesn't have like the budget of Die Hard. Um, you know, I, I mean, it's got some budget. I don't mean to say it's like a low budget movie or something. See, I mean, this all costs money and it looks good. There's a lot of people in it. Um, there's a lot of different locations, but you know, the only question is, can Bruce still make this work from this trailer it looks okay looks like it would at least be an a, a, an okay cop drama with some action um my only you know worry is bruce can't bruce may bruce may be too old and too far in aphasia to pull this off and the synopsis here is not good uh, Detective James Knight is dedicated to navigating the demanding streets of Los Angeles. That's not a great synopsis. It doesn't sound. It just sounds like a generic synopsis, and it, and that makes me think that the entire trilogy is going to be a generic three cop movies. But maybe it won't be. Maybe it'll be a fun adventure where we get to see Bruce go on one last amazing ride. I think the second movie is in prison, and then has to break out and then the third movie is like the final installment where he goes after I don't know one of the movies he goes after a guy whose theme is like Santa Claus I think the first first well maybe okay now it's coming together okay so this is released in October and the bank robbers have Halloween masks the second one I'm guessing is going to be released in December and the theme is Christmas <laughs> <laughs> because the it's like a mad bomber with a Santa Claus theme. And then I guess the third one is going to be released in February. And then maybe have a Valentine's Day theme. So maybe he finds love at the end of it. Would I see it? 
I'm a big Bruce Willis fan. I'd see almost anything uh, Bruce Willis was in except Cop Out. Um, I'd at least give it a chance. You know? I'm not... I'm not super stoked because I am worried that this is just a final cash-in on Bruce for they have to switch to the AI. They may even have to switch to the AI for the third movie. I don't know. I guess this was all shot already. Seems like it's all done. Um, but this may be the final last hurrah for not AI Bruce Willis. Uh, first act, there are bank robbers robbing banks in L.A., and they're using Halloween masks. Okay, it's not a, not a huge, you know, trait that hasn't been done before, but whatever. Uh, they escape to L.A., and Bruce is frustrated because, or they escape to New York, and Bruce is frustrated because he's in L.A., and he wants to go on the offensive to go get him. And I guess the LAPD doesn't really want him to do that. But he does it anyway. He convinces his partner to help him. So they go to New York and start asking questions. Then, as the mystery unfolds, obviously you unravel a big thing where, you know, there's a bigger villain who's orchestrating it. And he has ties to the CIA. Because, I don't know, he's running guns or something for him. So the CIA is letting him do stuff on the sly, even though they shouldn't. And then, you know, they don't like Bruce poking around, and so they give him some flack, and he's in danger of losing his job. But they end up in gunfights with the bank robbers, end up killing one of them. Or they go after him and just start killing them. And then finally the head bank robber guy decides that's it let's go after this guy let's take him out and uh so it becomes a game of cat and mouse and then in the third act i think they kill them all and then i'm guessing bruce goes to jail <laughs> because because i think the second movie movie he's in jail which wouldn't be a bad i, I, I don't mind that it's kind of cool I mean, if you're going to plan a trilogy with a cop character, that's kind of cool. Like, he ends up in prison at the end of the first movie? Like, what? And then the second movie starts with, like, him breaking out of prison, I guess, or getting out of prison somehow. So, I don't know. It's interesting to see guys actually start, you know, set out to do a franchise. And it seems to be original. So, you know... I, I want to like this movie. Oh, it's already to buy or rent. So maybe this has been out. Oh, here's a better synopsis. <laughs> YouTube has a better synopsis than the people who posted this. Uh, Bruce Willis stars as veteran detective James Knight, dedicated to navigating the demanding streets of Los Angeles. Yeah, we did. We got that. In this thrilling first of a trilogy of films, as the city prepares for Halloween, mask-wearing armed robbers critically wound Knight's partner in a shootout following a heist. With Knight in hot pursuit, the bandits flee L.A. for New York, where the detective's dark past collides with his present case and threatens to tear his world apart unless redemption can claim Knight first. I don't See, I don't like that synopsis either. Unless redemption can claim Knight first? How does redemption claim you? That doesn't make any sense. Who wrote this? Ah... I still kind of want to see it. <laughs> I know. I like I like Bruce Willis. He's a Jersey guy. I have to support him. By law, I have to support them. I'm already in a lot of trouble for not supporting Bon Jovi or Bruce Springsteen, but I'll support Bruce, damn it. Damn it, he shoots guys. Somebody has to support him. And that's it for me, Tony D, and Little Joan. Check us out on Odyssey, BitChute, and Rumble a little later. Uh, when I'm back making the regular my videos, um, please go to uh, Classic Books in Trenton, Classic Books and Gifts, if you're around 11 to 2 on Saturday. That's today while you're seeing this. And we'll see you in the next one.